guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally getting around to filming my first impressions video that I have had. I've had this stash for like literally no joke a month because you guys know now that I like took a month off and so life's just been chaotic. But I have a lot of new products to try out. So before we waste any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. First thing that I'm going to try out is this Pharmacy Lip Bloom. It is like a lip balm from the brand Pharmacy. This is in the scent Apple Rosemary. Oh, Apple Rosemary. So I'm just going to take... Oh, it smells really good. Oh. It's a lot more melted than I imagined it to be. It's actually... It smells really good, though. So far, I really like that. It has a really nice thin consistency so it doesn't feel like it's super waxy. It has more of like a slip to it, like it just feels really hydrating and more thin. And then just to make sure that I give everything a fair shot, I'm going to use like my normal moisturizers and primers just so that I can give everything a fair shot. I feel like if I use a different primer or moisturizer, I wouldn't know if it's like the foundation or, you know, I really wouldn't know what my first impression would be. So that being said, I'm going to go in with my... Uh, Smashbox Radiance Primer. You guys know I'm obsessed with this stuff. It makes my skin really soft and has like a really nice glow to it. And then for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I'm going to pop this on real quick and then we'll just go ahead and get started. So for shadow today, I am going to be working with the Morphe. This is the 350M palette. So this is what the palette looks like. It does come with a sleeve inside here, so I'm going to remove this. And these are what the colors look like here in the palette. We have a nice selection. Um, the 350M stands for all matte shades. So um, we have some really nice cool tones, and then we have some warmer tones as well. I love that we have some really nice... Uh, like setting shades for setting your eyeshadow primer before you go in with other colors. So I'm really excited to play with this. So uh, let's go ahead. So I'm going to go in with this second shade right here in the palette. The only thing is um, they don't have the names. They don't tell me what the shadow name is and it also doesn't come with a mirror. But these shadow palettes are very affordable so I don't mind like I usually have a different mirror anyways, or if I'm getting ready without having to film, I'm sitting here at my vanity, so I don't really need to have a mirror inside of my palette. That doesn't bother me, but in case it might bother you, I don't know, so. I'm just going to take a flat shadow brush and just press that right over the primer that we just set down, like I normally would with all of my other palettes. I do own other Morphe palettes, so... I, I'm familiar with the brand, I just don't, I've never played with this palette before, but I kind of just wanted to do a matte look. So let's just keep working here. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's a really nice light brown taupey beige shade, and I'm just going to take that on a crease brush. I'm just going to take that on a fluffy crease brush, and I'm just going to buff this across my entire lid. Wow, that was actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. And I didn't pick up a ton of product either when I went into the pan. But these are super nice. And I'm just lightly buffing it up and out. Just so we have a nice lid shade. It's very beautiful. Just tapping off. Um, so far, I'm not getting any fallout. Hopefully you guys can tell in the camera what the shade looks like. It's a really beautiful crease shade or all over lid shade. I actually really like it. I'm really impressed. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and build up the intensity a little bit. I'm going to go in with this deeper brown shade right here in the palette. I'm going to use the same brush and just pick up a little bit. Wow, I picked up a little bit and I got a lot of pigment. I'm going to focus this product on the outer half of my eye. These are beautiful, like really pigmented and they seem to be bl blending out really nicely. So I'm just lightly buffing that shade from the middle of my eye towards the outer edge and just lightly going in left and right motions and then just circling it out towards the outer edge. Wow, that built up really nicely. Like that's actually like one of my favorite matte shadows that I've worked with in a long time. 
from the drugstore. Like, I, technically this isn't from the drugstore, Morphe you can only buy online. Actually, that's a lie. They started um, selling inside of Ulta now. So I know that it's select stores, so you might want to Google or call whichever Ulta that you're going to check to see if they have the Morphe brand. But the ones around me don't have them, which is <sighs> disappointing and heartbreaking. But So again, I'm just going to focus this on the outer half of my eye. So on the outer edges, I'm just kind of using circular motions. And then once I get more to the middle of my eye, I'm just going to go left to right in side to side motions. Just so it blends out a little bit easier. And then from here we'll just add up the intensity. So far it's blending like a dream. Dipping back into the palette I'm going to pick up this really dark, kind of like dark brown but kind of charcoal. Oh man, these are all really pigmented. Like when you dip right in it like picks up a lot of pigment. So. I'm just going to use this on a bullet brush and what I'm going to do is just take this shade really tight against my lashes just to give a little bit more definition along my lashes. And then from here I'm really just kind of blending out the edge. And then I'm going to go back in with that crease brush and just lightly buff out the edge of that really dark, dark brown. I'm going back into that palette, I'm going to pick up that second shade we used which was that like more medium brown color. Same brush, just picking up a little bit of that color, tapping off the excess, and just building up just because we did blend a little bit. I don't want to lose the intensity on the outer edge of my eye of that like warmth brown shade. So I'm just really lightly packing on a little bit more color and just kind of blending and marrying those two shades together. Going back in with that first brush and that first shadow that we used, I'm just going to be pressing this again back into the other half of my eye so that everything looks a little bit brighter. So just here on the inner half of my eyes. And then I'm just going to pick up that crease brush again and just lightly go left to right, right in the middle so that those shades look a little bit more blended. And then just popping a little bit of the brow highlight. I mean, I only used three shades from this palette, but I'm really impressed. I really like it. I think the quality for the price is really great. And honestly, like these sh shadows blend out better than some of my like really high end palettes. So I really like this. And yeah, I got a little fallout, but nothing too extreme by any means. It honestly just like wiped away. Like I don't even need to like clean up underneath my eyes. Okay, so I'm really excited. We have a new foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've heard really good things. I obviously haven't tried it. This is in the shade Soft Ivory, and Wet n Wild is a cruelty-free brand. So I'm really... What is this? Is this... Oh, okay, so <laughs> it's not a pop-off top. Um, you have to twist it to get it off, and it has a spatula, which I'm not really looking forward to that, but that's okay. I mean, I'm the only one using this, so I'm just going to slap it on my face. I'm just going to mix it up just a little bit more, and we are just going to apply this to my face. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't like the way that you have to apply this at all. To blend this foundation out, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm just going to be pressing this into the skin. It has a very... Um, well, the first thing that comes to my mind is like a Play-Doh scent. Like, it's, it kind of smells like some sort of Play-Doh. So, so far the coverage is actually pretty decent. I'm going to read online what it claims to do and then we will kind of see from there what we think but yeah the smell is a little weird it's not anything that's super strong by any means I don't smell it on my face I just smell it on the sponge so that's a little weird to me but again it's not something that's really strong it doesn't smell like chemicals which a lot of the cheaper foundations um, sometimes have like this weird chemical scent but these ones, this one so far, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, I look so pale. However, that foundation matches 
perfectly. That's how pale I am right now. I'm gonna read the claims of what this foundation does. Okay, so it claims that it is a high performance breakthrough formula featuring lightweight or featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. Tested under seven conditions with and without the use of flash. Um, claims it says specifically made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin no filter perfection. So it's not telling me if it's a full coverage, medium coverage, what kind of coverage it is. So for me, looking at it, it's a pretty it's a pretty medium full coverage. Like I'd say it's right in between. It's not super full coverage. And I should also tell you what my skin type is because of the next comment that I'm going to make about this foundation, the way it looks. I am definitely more on the dry side. And when I look up close, like, I can just see that it looks heavy. Um, I didn't exfoliate this morning when, my, when I was doing my skincare, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe that's what the deal is. It doesn't look terrible and sometimes you know when you let foundations and concealers sit for a while on your skin it kind of like melts and blends with your skin um that's kind of what i'm thinking is going to happen with this foundation i can tell you one thing that i really like is that it's not oxidizing so it's not changing color once it's on my skin it just does look a little bit dry like on my forehead here um a little bit around my nose like it's starting to look a little bit like caked up but i'm kind of wondering if once i let it sit it will kind of warm up with my skin. So for right now, I'm going to go in with concealer. I don't have a new concealer to try, but I'm going to be using my Tarte Maracuja um, Creaseless Concealer. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and applying it where I normally would, and then I will be right back. So while I was off camera applying my concealer, I just went ahead and applied my brows since I don't have any new brow products either. Um, a little update on the foundation. It is actually starting to look better. Um, once I mixed the Tarte uh, concealer, I noticed that the creaminess of this concealer kind of helps it blend it a little bit better. Um, I might just need to use a different, um, a different uh, moisturizer with this, but it actually is starting to look better. Even around my nose, it's starting to like melt. Like I can see it starting to melt down and it actually is looking pretty well. Um, I didn't add more coverage because it actually did, once I put my concealer on, it did give me the coverage that I was looking for. So I'm actually starting to like this foundation more now that it's sitting on my skin. So keep that in mind if you're trying this foundation out as well. So I have a new setting powder. This is um, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Um, it comes in a really nice package. Like, I really actually like the packaging. Um, so we're going to open this guy up. Try to pull this off. So it does have um, the little holes in here. So it has, like, the sifting. It will sift what you need. So I'm just going to dump a little bit into the cap here. Oh. And this is in the color um, Fair. It looks kind of yellow for being fair. That's okay. I mean, it'll probably still work, but... So I'm just going to pick up some on my Beauty Blender. It looks like it has a really nice consistency, and I'm just going to be pressing this underneath my eyes. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like the... I can already tell I'm going to like this. This is really finely milled, which means, like, it's really thin, so it's really great, obviously, for setting the face. Oh, I think I'm really going to like this. And once it's on the skin, like I'm a pretty fair girl, but once it's on the skin, it actually does look pretty fair. I want I don't I didn't even notice when I bought this how many other shades they had. I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Most of the time I'm actually a girl who prefers like a um a pressed um, finishing powder or just like a pressed um, powder foundation just to set my makeup when I'm done. I don't really enjoy having uh, loose but I actually really like this one. I'm not big on baking so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just wipe away any excess product because I'm so dry I just don't really enjoy baking my face. So right down the bridge of my nose, the foundation looks terrible. 
I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this foundation. Again, I'm just going to let it sit. I've never had a foundation do that before. Like, it is, like, separating terribly right down, like, my nose. I don't know if it's the powder or not, but what I'm going to do is actually just take my Tarte Ready Set Radiant spray and just set, or just spray my sponge and then just kind of lightly dab over where it's obviously separating and starting to show really bad dryness. I'm just going to press that and see if it'll help kind of mold it together. Mm -hmm. That's definitely helping. So I wonder if it's the powder. Oh, that's definitely helping. Wow. So I'm going to stop touching my face. I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm just going to use my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm just going to quickly warm up my face. For highlighters, I have two highlighters here. I have, they're both from Wet n Wild, and I'm super excited to try these. I've been dying to get my hands on these. Um, I don't own any highlighters from Wet n Wild, but I've heard amazing things. So the first one here we have is the Wet n Wild 321B. It's in the shade Precious Petals. Here is what it looks like here. So here's what it looks like here. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I love the impression in it. And this is what the highlighter looks like there. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it. It has like a little bit of like a gold champagne -y tint to it, which I really like. And then this one is the 322B in the shade Crown of My Canopy. Here is what this one looks like. It definitely has more of like a goldy rose gold tint to it. And I'll swatch it here for you. Again, this one is very soft. And I'll swatch it here. Oh yeah, it's definitely darker. So here we have the first one here. This is Precious Petals. And then the second one here, we have Crown of My Canopy. So I'm definitely going to be using the bottom one here, Precious Petals, because I am a lot more fair. However, I would definitely use the other one, the darker one, for eyeshadow or mixing it in with like your lipstick or lip gloss like to get a more metallic look. I'm sure you could do that with this. Um, so that one will probably go on my kit so that I don't personally use it. I could use it on, um, you know, all the other jobs that I get to do. So I'm going to take this on a Morphe M510 brush and just pick up a little bit apply this to the tops of my cheekbones oh my gosh it is beautiful can you guys see that oh yeah I'm obsessed this is actually a very it's pretty wearable for how um, fair I am I'm just gonna blend it down a little bit to where my blush is going to go it goes on really soft, super seamless. I don't see like chunky glitter either. It honestly just looks like a really soft pressed highlighter. Mm, I really like this color. This is really pretty. And I think I paid uh, maybe five bucks, maybe less for this highlighter. And then for my blush, I have a Wet n Wild one. This is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. So it also comes with a little, a little brush. Um, in case you maybe wanted to use this on your Barbie. So here's the blush color here though. It's totally a shade that I would love. I'm going to swatch it here for you guys. Kind of looks like it has like a nice sheen to it. So it's a nice pop of like pinky peachy shade. It does, it doesn't have like glitter per se. Eh, it kind of actually has a little bit. So let's test it out. Wow. It's pigmented. This is so pretty. Hopefully you guys can tell on camera the shade of what it looks like. It's very gorgeous, super pretty. And let's go ahead and move on to lips. I have a new lip liner here. This is by Buxom, and this is in the shade Hush Hush. So one end, you get a really nice chunky lip liner. And then on the other end, it actually comes with a brush. So you can like apply it on and then just blend it out with your brush on the other side. So that's really convenient. I really like that. 
So I'm going to go in with this and line my lips. It's really creamy, super pigmented. And because this is a larger pencil, it's going to make it really easy to like quickly line your lips. I'm just going to fill in my lips with this color because I am going to use another color over top. Wow, that made it really easy to just fill this in really quick with just one um, pencil. So I, I really, really like that. The color is beautiful. Like, I would totally wear this on its own. But just because this is a first impressions, I do have a lip color that I've been dying to try out. So let's try this. This is by Bare Minerals in the shade Boss. And this is a matte uh, finish. This is... Oh, it smells like cookies. Oh, this is pretty. Super pretty. Nice, like, mauve pinky shade. Totally up my alley. So we're going to apply this. Oh, it's really moussey, too. It's not like a thin formula. It's a pretty moussey texture. Wow, these colors are, like, perfect for each other. Wow, this definitely might be my new favorite lip combo. Because these colors, let me swatch them so you can see, like, side by side. They are, I'm not even kidding you, they are perfect for each other. Like, I mean... I couldn't have got, the colors can't be any closer, really. This is perfect. Cool. The lip is definitely a success. Love the blush. Love the highlight. The eyeshadow looks really beautiful. Um, looking back at the foundation again, it looks better. I just think, really, it's not my favorite foundation. No big deal. I have plenty of other foundations to use. I mean, I'll just use this on days where I don't need to do anything really. But for right now, I'm just going to set my face. I'm gonna be using the Ready Set Radiant Spray from Tarte. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face. Hopefully that will make the foundation look better. I'm honestly being really critical with the foundation. From like normal distance away, it looks perfectly fine. I have to be like this close to the mirror to be able to see that like, yeah, it's a little dry around my nose. My forehead actually looks a lot better. I think it's just, it needs to warm up. It's only been like 10 minutes since I've applied the foundation. So yeah, I really, this was a successful first impressions. I really like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed how this look came out. Tell me if you've tried any of these products before down in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys have tried or things that maybe I should try in my next first impressions. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.